the current status of COVID in the community can be easily underestimated. We have not seen the quantity of patients uh, with new uh, diagnoses. To date, we have not had a positive test result come back from the state laboratory uh, documenting diagnosis of COVID-19. Uh, but we can't, uh, we can't afford to not take it seriously. Even though, you know, our attention has been drawn to other areas in the country, New York and California, for example, that have had a uh, really devastating um, uh, experience with the COVID-19 virus. Um, you know, we've not seen anything like this in quite a long time. Um, the COVID-19 virus, highly contagious, easily spread from person to person. So. Um, on top of uh, uh, you know, what we have seen from patients that have been hard hit by it, um, we know that the vast majority of patients will uh, experience mild disease with the COVID-19 infection. Something like 80% of patients will have very mild symptoms or be completely without symptoms. Um, but at the same time, you know, we know that uh, because it can be easily spread from person to person, uh, it's, it's important to take it seriously. Uh, it's important to keep in mind the reason for any laboratory testing or imaging study um, with regard to medical management is to help guide the treatment plan. Um, as we discussed just a couple of minutes ago, the vast majority of patients that will ultimately be diagnosed as COVID-19 positive will have mild or asymptomatic disease. So the, the short answer is that the testing really doesn't drive the management of most patients that have COVID-19 infection. The Illinois Department of Public Health has recommended really two groups of patients that should be screened um, with the uh, COVID-19 testing. The, the one would be in a, in a group or communal setting of two or more people where there's been a previously diagnosed positive case, or in a hospitalized patient with unexplained pneumonia. So those groups of patients very, very clearly defined. Um, there are no current recommendations for widespread testing of patients that do not have symptoms. The idea of using the testing would be to help guide management of that particular patient. If the recommendations for isolation are going to be the same no matter what, then the indication or the utility, if you will, of the testing is, is somewhat limited. So the current guidelines have not changed in that respect. Uh, patients are um, uh, being directed to self-isolate for a period of um, seven days after the beginning of the symptoms or three days after uh, resolution of fever, whichever date comes last. At Horizon Health, um, as part of our pandemic plan, we have attempted to maintain a balance between protecting patients that may be presenting with illness or patients that may not have COVID-19 related illness, but other health issues, as well as protecting our staff. Uh, as part of that plan, every patient, every staff member that enters the building is screened. Uh, they're checked for presence of a fever. They undergo um, some short sc screening questions to assess for uh, recent illness. And that helps to assess whether those patients are at, at risk, whether they require further um, screening and evaluation to assess for uh, possible uh, infection with the COVID-19 virus. At the same time, uh, we have uh, delayed or, or deferred any elective surgery procedures, trying to, uh, again, patients that may be at risk with other chronic health issues, to keep them away from the hospital, to minimize the risk of infection if they were associated with another patient who was COVID-19 positive. Um, we are attempting to um, uh, separate out uh, patients that are coming for outpatient clinic visits, then separate out into a, a well patient period and then a sick patient period uh, with uh, a very intensive uh, cleaning operation in between those two sections, again with the goal of protecting our patients who are still coming to the hospital and to the outpatient clinic, as well as protecting our staff. As part of this initiative with the 
COVID-19 crisis to uh, protect patients as well as the staff. We are um, moving forward very aggressively with offering options like the telemedicine. Um, we have some of our outpatient uh, um, providers have been set up with the ability to do telemedicine visits to any patient in the community who has access through either a computer, a tablet, a smartphone that has camera access. Um, that allows us to, uh, again, to strike a balance between being responsive to the needs of our patients as well as doing the most to keep them safe. Um, in a similar fashion, we have an online uh, COVID-19 screening tool to help uh, assess the risk uh, for patients who may be concerned that they've either been exposed or that they're, you know, um, if they are at, at, at risk for being uh, uh, ill with the COVID-19 virus. The online screening tool is very helpful from a number of standpoints, not the least of which is that it generates a response with a call back to the individual um, patient to further assess what their current clinical situation is, to try to direct their care appropriately, whether they need to be seen um, in the office, at the emergency department. Um, a further step to help uh, to protect the patients as well as the staff is we have established a respiratory clinic Patients that have respiratory symptoms, fever, cough, uh, can be seen directly in, in the respiratory clinic um, by staff with appropriate personal protective equipment. Uh, we have received quite a number of questions from people in the local community with regard to um, the advisability of uh, uh, people staying home from work and whether it's a recommendation that we as the Horizon Health would make. Um, I would point out that that's a decision between the individual employee and their employer. Um, keep in mind that there's guidance from the state to each organization with regard to uh, what functions are deemed essential in the middle of the crisis versus who is, you know, best serves the public by remaining home when the social isolation. So we would encourage uh, people in the community to discuss that with their employer and make sure that they understand the, uh, the recommendations. In closing, the best advice that we can give from Horizon Health is to try to follow the current recommendations. We know that the social distancing recommendations do work. Maintaining the six-foot distance in between people is helpful with regard to limiting the risk of person-to-person -person transmission of the COVID-19 virus.